Hi, and um, this is an introduction of sorts for me to share some of the thinking I've been doing over the last few months, some of the thoughts I've sort of um, uh, crystallized out of that process, which will hopefully help you understand some of the things which you, which you experience better and will inform your own thinking in turn and allow you to perhaps make better decisions, see things differently, change your strategy and create better tactics as a result. And I know you will agree with me uh, that if you look around the world that surrounds you right now, uh, whether it is uh, political life or economic life or even just life in general, uh, we are very far from what we used to call normal. And what we most seem to want is to return to that normal, to return to a time in the past, to reset the clock, where the pandemic didn't happen, where the world's uh, largest or oldest democracies did not come under question, where the political systems which we had worked for us, mostly, and worked well enough for us to not have to do anything about them. And, and the thing is that um, there is no such thing as going back, unfortunately. And let me elaborate a little bit on this. Essentially, everything is a system. We know that systems theory tells us that any kind of system is made up of interconnected parts which work together in a kind of ensemble to create a reality of sorts which makes things work. We can apply this to society, we can apply it to work, we can apply it to political systems, we can apply it to trade systems even, we can definitely apply it to the economy. There are a lot of moving parts to all this and we have begun to realize that these things require everything to work properly in order for things to work and when things break down it's not a case of mistakes or errors happening in a particular point in time it's more like a systemic breakdown because things uh, are not working the way they should and should be as a result it should be re-examined changed optimized and uh, developed or sort of a uh, uh, created anew. So what am I saying here? Essentially I'm saying that all of the systems that we have had in place up to the end of the 20th century have failed us. If we look at the political system or the economy or the global communication system in terms of how countries interchange information and how countries work together, all of these are problematic and they have led to the kind of situation which we face today where we face a pandemic to which we have no global response, we face a climate crisis to which we have no global response, we face perhaps a potential failure of the global supply chains and we have no answer to. And on top of that we have political systems at a local level which are being challenged in terms of their efficacy, their righteousness and their ability to deliver to us, the people, essentially to me and you. And what has that got to do with anything which affects you in work? Well, essentially work takes place in a, a sort of a domain which we call life in general. And life is made up of all those other systems around it. And work is only made possible because of that ensemble working properly. So if our systems have failed us, what should we do? And the obvious answer here is create new ones, but obviously we can't just abandon something and start from scratch on something else because in the intervening period we get total chaos and nothing works. So we need to change the systems which we have in place. We need to understand that they no longer serve us. We need to understand that whether we're talking about work, life, politics, religion, uh, the economy, nothing works the way it's supposed to. If it has delivered to date an outcome or a result which has led to seemingly catastrophic consequences, then it's an indication that the system is wrong. It's an indication that the supposed safeguards it had in place did not work. It's an indication that the supposed representation of the majority isn't working. Going back to the past isn't going to work because essentially we're going back to the systems which we had. So the only possible path forward is to move to the future. To move to, move to that future with a full 
um, sort of accounting of what went wrong in the past and then an understanding of what we should be doing, what we should be implementing, what we should be putting in place in order to make sure that the systems that we have become different, new, renewed and so on and begin to serve us again uh, the way they're supposed to. None of what I'm saying is easy, none of what I'm saying is supposed to uh, make you feel complacent and I understand how disruptive all of this is. The fact is that we face an inevitability in all this and the sooner we realize it, uh, the better it is because then we can begin to take it into account and ourselves begin to become more agile in our uh, decision making and the direction which we're taking and um, the tactics which we're going to employ. So that's it, this is just a short introductory video. Let me know your thoughts uh, in a thread below. Let me know any questions you have. Let me know what concerns you may have. And I promise you there'll be a lot more stuff coming over the next few months. Uh, this is just something I want to share with you at this moment in time. Thank you.